are the synagogue of Satan. Okay. They are of the synagogue of Satan. Of their father the devil. Alright. Occupying land that don't belong to them. And they deal with Rome. Why you think the Pope got a kufi on his head? Anyway, it says, Fear none of the things which you shall suffer, Israel. Look, the devil will throw some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days with you. Faith, but be thou faithful unto death. That's the you gotta be faithful unto death no matter what. And stand firm on what you believe, Israel, and my Christian brothers and sisters. All right, and I will give you a crown of life. And he that have an ear, let him hear. You better be hearing what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh will not be hurt of the second death. You got to overcome all the way to the end. He that endureth to the end. Let's go to uh, Revelations 3 and 9. Behold, look, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, the church of Satan, which say they are Jews, they're Israelites, and are not, but do lie. Behold, Israel, you Israelites, you children of God, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, to know that I have loved thee. And because thou have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour, from what time of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, the world. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which you have, Israel, that no man take your crown. Keep your crown. Be faithful unto death. So, the reason why is because we profess to have the knowledge of the Most High. And we do. And he calleth himself, yes I do, the child of the Most High. He was made to reprove our thoughts. Yes, to correct your wicked thoughts and our own wicked thoughts. He is grievous unto us even to behold, to look. Go to Isaiah 53 and 3. Christ came and he did that. Right? He said he is grievous on us to see, to look. We don't like him. Oh, he can't be this color. Oh, but you're going to find out. When he come, it says, For his life is not like other men's. Our life isn't like other men's. His ways are of another fashion, of another way. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. You are counterfeits. Praise the Most High. Hallelujah. You are the counterfeits. False coin. He abstaineth from our ways. Yes, I stay away from your wicked ways. Sacrificing children on holidays and doing witchcraft and sorcery to our people. Give them drugs and alcohol, killing our children, raping our children. Yeah, causing our people to be homosexuals and all this stuff. Putting in the food. You putting spirits on our people. Most High is going to destroy you for those things. All right? It says he abstained. Yeah, we stay away from from we stay away from their ways. As from filthiness. Yes, you're dirty. He pronounces the end of the just. Yes, I pronounce the end of the righteous to be blessed. And make of his boast that the Most High is his Father. Yes, the Most High, Ahia, is my Abba. Okay? The Most High Power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is my Father, the Elohim. Let us see. This is what they're going to do to us. Right? They're saying, let us see if his words be true. Oh, yes, every one of my words is true. And let us prove. Every, well, every, <laughs> every word that proceeded out of Most High's mouth, which Christ was the word, I believe. 
I pledge allegiance to the most high. Not no dang flag. Let us see if his words be true. And let us prove what will happen in the end of him. Right? When I go. Oh yeah. I'm going to the beautiful place. With many mansions. Right? So he's saying, let us prove, test what will happen in the end of him. What's, what about what's going to happen in the end of you? Huh? We're not trusting in the word of the Most High. Hmm? Hmm. Let us prove what will happen in the end of him. Okay, you want to prove what's going to happen in the end of, of, of me? I'm going to prove what's going to happen in the end of you with these scriptures, with the prophecies of my Messiah and the Most High, the Lord of Spirits. For if the just man be the son of the Most High, he says, for if the righteous man be the son of God, of Ahiah, he will help him. Oh, yes. And deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Whatever his will is. Because Polycrop and the slaves and all these other people and the North American Indians and everybody went through affliction. All right. But they came out pure as gold. Those that have work and faith on the Messiah and gave their lives to the Most High. That did not doubt. Even though it looked like they were punished in the eye of men, they received the crown of life. They rehearsed the righteous acts. They kept the commandments. And that's what I want to do. And I hope other brothers and sisters want to do it too. Follow the word of Christ. Be baptized. Repent. It says... For if the just man be the son of the Most High, he will help him and spare him from the hand of his enemies. Most High didn't say that. Christ said, hey, there's a place with many mansions. You got to go through this first to receive that up there. What you can't see. The thing that is hoped for. And he told me to store my treasures up in heaven. And not to fear what man can do to me. But to fear him that can destroy the soul and the spirit and the body. The flesh. And guess what? You evil and wicked doers. Your flesh is going to be burnt off you. Your spirit is going to be still burning. We can still feel... After we leave this body, you're gonna be, you're gonna receive. I don't even know what to tell you, but if you ain't following the Most High Power, you're gonna feel all the wrath of His power. So they said, "Let us examine Him." See, they're gonna examine us, investigate us with despitefulness and torture like the Inquisition, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Just be patient, Israel. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying, he will be respected. Don't worry about it. Be like Isaiah and all these other ones. Be faithful unto death. And he will give you that crown of life. Okay? You won't receive the second death. It says, such things they did imagine. These, this is what the wicked people imagine in their minds, in their hearts, their spirit. And were deceived. For their own wickedness have blinded them, Israel. And as for the mysteries of Ahia, they knew them not. They didn't know the mysteries of the Elohim. Neither hope they for the wages of righteousness, 
nor discerned a reward for blameless souls, innocent spirits. For the Most High created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. But however, through envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that hold to his side do find it. Those that hold to his side, they're going to find it. Oh, yes. They're, they're going to find it. So let me go back a little bit. Uh, it says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. That's what they do. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence, respect the ancient gray hairs. They're kicking people out of houses that are old. Um, they're not respecting the old. Uh, they say, let our power be the law of justice. What justice? Look at their court systems. For that which is feeble, weak, is found to be nothing worth, nothing valuable. See, they're opposite to the Most High. He said, I use the weak things to confound the strong or the wise. See, it says, therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. They wait patient. Right. Right. You see the cops sitting on the other side of the street waiting for you to zoom past and hiding and ready for you to get a ticket, ready for you to do wrong. It says because he is not for our turn, we're not for his turn and he is clean. Yes, we are clean. We're holy, contrary to our to their doings. It says he upbraided us with our offending the law. Yes, they they offend the Most High's law. An objective to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. Yes, your education is foolishness. That's why the Most High having our people all around the world uh, homeschool. Because you want to teach homosexuality and bestiality and pedophilia, you damn devils. Get away from us. We rebuke Satan in the name of Yeshia. All right. To the Most High Ahia, we ask that he burn the sodomites and the pedophiles and the LGBTQ and all these dang devils. All right. These blasphemers and these evildoers. We ask that the Most High take vengeance. Um, all right. Yeah, so anyway, for the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright, our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man, there is no remedy. What? There's no answer? Yeah, the Christ said it's appointed, well, the scripture says it's appointed for us to die once, and after that, the judgment. All right? But, there is a remedy uh, for death, and that's... Uh, following the law, statute, and commandments, as being baptized, believing Christ died and rose again. Right? That's believing in Christ, our Savior, and knowing what He did for you. Mm hmm. So, these fools say, in death of a man, there is no remedy, no answer, no cure. That's why they're trying to freeze their body. That's why they're trying to clone bodies. But they can't control the spirit. Only the Lord of spirits controls spirits. Right? The ancient of days. Right? Yeah. Yes. Um. Anyway, for the, the Spirit of the Most High filleth the world, and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance uh, be hid when it, when it punisheth or pass by him. For inquisition, an investigation will be made unto the advice of the ungodly. And the sound of his words will come unto the Lord, the Most High, for the manifestation of his wicked deeds, actions. For the ear of jealousy hear of all things. And the noise of murmurings is not hid from the Most High. We got to make sure that we're not murmuring and complaining. 
but going through and enduring to the end. He that endureth to the end will be saved. So uh, we must endure. We must endure. All right. All right. So um, seek his word. He said, uh, seek the kingdom and everything will be added unto you. All right. Hmm. Um, let's see if I have anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, three, it says, fear, uh, I'm in uh, Ecclesiasticus 41 and 3. Fear not the sentence of death. Remember them that have been before thee, Israel, and that come after. For this is the sentence of the Most High over all flesh. Okay. And why aren't you against the pleasure of the Most High? There is no investigation, inquisition in the grave, whether you have lived ten or a hundred or a thousand years. Okay? So, you know, don't worry about that. Worry about um, pleasing the Most High and keeping the Most High first. Okay? Because, uh, like it says right here, Ecclesiastes 39, 28. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which is in, the fury, in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that created them, that made them. Okay, Fire and hell and famine and death, all these are created for vengeance. All right, and there's that, that the vengeance is going to be taken out on the wicked, not the righteous, the wicked. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, vipers, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. And they will rejoice. They're going to laugh in his commandment, in, in his law. They're going to say, yes, send us, Lord. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they will not transgress his word. He's going to tell the horror of frost, the snow, release from your chamber. And the Most High is going to release that snow. Okay? Just like he released that rain when it never rained. Oh! Just like he's going to release that fire that never rained. Fire is going to rain on these demonic devils. And we cast down all the wicked imagination and technology and inventions that these men are doing on the earth. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scrooge, the whip. These things are created for the wicked and for their benefits came the flood. All right. All right. So, we're not to be afraid. He didn't give us the spirit of fear, and he's going to do some things for on our behalf. It's going to take divine intervention. All right. You know, we can't we can't we can try to be ready for something physical. But, you know, this battle is spiritual. And um, that don't mean that you don't uh, get you a sword like Christ told you. But you pray for permission to be able to protect your family, to uh, be precise and accurate with your hands or weapon. And uh, even on the Sabbath day, we had to war, okay? So people use common sense, but you're not going to be able to fight against Esau and his army. And Our brother is equipped, and he's a mighty hunter, something like Nimrod. And 
stuff like that. Um, but we're not to be dismayed at the plans that they're planning. But we are to be pilgrims on the earth. All right. Um, Yeshaya answered and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High, that you believe on him whom he hath sent, hath called. They, say, they said therefore unto him, What sign showest you then that we may see and believe thee? What doeth, what doeth you work, thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He giveth them bread, food from heaven, from the sky, to eat, angels' food. Then Yeshua said unto them, Truly, truly, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father Ahiah gave you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of the Most High, Ahiah, is he which cometh down from heaven, Christ, and giveth life unto the world. I'm going to go to 57. As the living Father hath sent me, called me, and I liveth by the Father, so he that eateth, eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, from the sky. Not as your fathers did eat manna, angels' food, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread, this food, shall live forever. Right? Make sure that you're eating from the bread of life and not leaven or the book of the dead or whatever madness that is out there. Right? You want to live off of every word that proceeded from the Most High. Right? From Christ. Alright? Mm-hmm. We thank the Most High for His precious Son. Alright? Let me get some downfall on, on these wicked... Right, I gotta get some of that. Let's get that. Uh, uh, Jeremiah... 51. Now saith the Most High, see, I am rousing a destructive wind against Babylon, aka America, and the inhabitants, the pop population of Lachem. I will send strangers against Babylon, and they will winnow her, and they will strip her land bare. They will beset her on all sides on the day of disaster. Let the archer draw his bow. And let them stand ready in his coat of mail. Show no pity to her young men. Wipe out all her host, her army. Let them fall dead in the land of Chaldea. Pierce through in her streets. For Israel and Judah were not perfect. Um, perfect. With, with, widowed of their of their power, their God, the, the Lord of hosts, the God of, of armies. But their land was filled with guilt before the Holy One of Israel. Flee from the middle of Babylon and save your lives, each of you. Do not perish for her iniquity, law-breaking. For this is a time of vengeance for the Lord, for the Most High. He will deal retribution to her. He will pay her. And you don't want to be partakers of her sin. Vengeance is the Most High's. Babylon was a golden cup in the Most High's hand. It made the whole earth drunk. The nations drank of her wine, her lies. That is why the nations are mad. They're confused and crazy. Suddenly Babylon has fallen and is shattered. Cry, howl over her. Get bomb for her wounds. Perhaps she can be healed. We tried to cure Babylon, but she was incurable. Let us leave her and go, each to his own land. For her punishment reaches to heaven, the sky. 
and it is as high as the sky. The Most High has announced our vindication, Israel, Israel, Israelites. Come, let us recount in Zion. Let us remember in, in, in Zion, in Israel, the deeds, the actions of the Most High, our power. Polish the arrows, fill the quivers. The Most High has roused the spirit of the kings of Media. For his plan against Babylon is to destroy her. This is the vengeance of the Most High Ahia. Vengeance for his temple, his church. Raise a standard against the walls of Babylon. Set up a blockade. Station watchmen. Prepare those in ambush. For the Most High has both planned her planned and perf performed what he decreed, what he announced against the population of Babylon. O oh, you who live or dwell by great waters with vast storehouses, your time is come, the hour of your end. The Most High of Armies has sworn by himself. He swore by his own self. He says, I will fill you with men like a locust swarm. They will rise a shout against you. He made the earth by his might, Israel. He established the world by his wisdom. And by his understanding stretched out the skies. When he makes his, his voice heard, there is a rumbling of waters in the skies. He makes vapors rise from the end of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain and brings out wind from his treasuries. Every man is proved dull without knowledge, without the Ruach. Every goldsmith is put to shame because of the idol. For his molten image is a lie. There is no breath, there is no breath in them. They are delusion, a work of mockery. And their hour of doom, they will die. Not like these in the portion of Jacob, Israel. For it is he who formed all things. And Israel is his very own tribe. The Lord of hosts is his name. Alright. And... It says, you are my war club, my weapons of battle. With you, I clubbed nations. With you, I destroyed kingdoms. With you, I clubbed horse and rider. With you, I clubbed chariot and driver. With you, I clubbed men and woman. With you, I clubbed gray beard and boy. With you, I clubbed youth and maiden. With you, I clubbed shepherd and flock. With you, I clubbed plowmen and team. With you, I clubbed governors and perfects. But I will requite, he said, we ain't got to do nothing because he's going to reward, he's going to repay Babylon and all the inhabitants of Chaldea. Praise the Most High, Ahia. All right. Blessings to all. Remember to be faithful unto death. Receive your crown of life. Do not be afraid. Do not be ashamed. And call on your power. And he will spare you, if not in this life, in the life to come. All right. And he's going to give you a glorious body. All right. Again, for real, man, be faithful. A lot of us um, have the spirit of fear and, and it's not good. And, and don't want judgment to come. Our Father is a God of judgment and retribution. But men love darkness rather than light. Okay. So blessings to all the 12 tribes. Okay. And, um... And um, make sure that you stay prayed up.
sand knot. And, um, understand that the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. All right. Um, so you just gotta continue to be faithful. Continue to trust and hearken. Hearken unto the voice of the Most High. You know. Okay. Um, I'm in the hum. It says the Lord is a passionate and avenging God. The Most High is vengeful and fierce in wrath. The Most High takes vengeance on his enemies. He rages against his foes. The Most High is slow to anger and of great forbearance. But the Most High does not remit all punishment. He travels in whirlwind and storm and clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebukes the seas and dries it up and he makes all rivers fail. Bashan and Carmel languish and the blossoms of Lebanon weather. The mountains quake because of him and he and, and I'm sorry and the hills melt. The earth heaves before him, the world and all that lives therein. Who can stand before his anger? Who can resist his fury? His anger pours out like fire and rocks are shattered because of him. The Most High is good to those who hope in him. A haven on a day of distress. He is mindful of those who seek refuge in him. All. Oh. And with a sweeping flood, he makes an end of her place. He makes an end of those who oppose him. That's what it means. All right. All right. Um, so, let me see. In Revelation uh, twenty-two fourteen, blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Right? That's what you want to do. You want to enter in to the city. For without are dogs. Those that are on the outside are dogs and sorcerers, whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever maketh a lie. All right. So you don't want to be none of those. 